Welcome. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Hi. You must help me. My mom slipped and fell in the shower. There's so much blood. I couldn't feel a pulse. Do you know how to do CPR? Yes, I'm a medical student. I'll put you on hold. This is a landline, and I'm in the kitchen. My mom is in the bathroom upstairs. Hi, I'm upstairs now in the room next to the bathroom. We have another landline here. I dragged mom over to this room to be able to do CPR while talking to you on the phone. Okay, good. I have notified the ambulance to hurry over to your address. Should the SOS operator also contact the police? Is it possible that a crime has been committed? Is there a reason to suspect the girl? Who is responsible? Pause if you need more time. Okay, there are a few things that makes me question the girl's statement and whether she's telling the truth that it was an accident. Firstly, if her mother fell in the shower upstairs and there is a landline on the top floor, why would the girl take the longer way down to the kitchen to call 911? It would be more logical to take the shortest way to a phone to get help faster. Secondly, the girl tells the operator that she is a medical student. This implies that she has a basic knowledge of injuries and such. If her mother has no pulse and a head trauma, the last thing you should do is to drag them into another room. This can cause more injuries, which a medical student should be aware of. This should be enough for the operator to suspect something might not be as the girl says and also notify the police. If you like this video and want me to do more in the future, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.